Hey everyone, it's Nick. Today I want to show you a casino in Minecraft. First thing we need is some ambiance in this place, so let's play some cool casino music. Oh, I like the tunes. Now, what do you want to do at a casino? Obviously, you want to win some money, but it's mostly about spending that money. And that's what this guy right here is for. He's the cashier of this place. And as you can tell by the iron bars, he is quite wealthy behind there. But we need to steal those emeralds from him so we can bet on games like roulette, some sort of dice or a card game right here and some slot machines right here so where to start let's start with a roulette table this is based off a um off of a concept that seth Pling posted quite a few years ago and basically all you need is a minecart let's get that and you place it onto this track and after a random amount of time that minecart is gonna come back and i'm gonna bet on this red thing right there and you can see we won because of the orientation of the minecart it's facing that way and if it were on this rail it would be facing the the other way and so we won uh, the quadruple amount of the emerald we bet so we can take some one two and three so we get that back and then three you know I haven't really made any fancy mechanisms that will pay out that amount of money but basically what this uh, does is once the minecart goes down here into the ground it will go onto these tracks right here and this clock will uh, select a path for the minecart to go and let's say it went this way then it would have another junction that it could go then it would go back into this track or maybe just right back up there you know some uh, random junctions that don't seem to work that well because the minecart seems to be biased on this spot right here this one right there and after that comes this one these two I haven't really seen done because let's place another minecart in there I don't know what it is maybe it's the amount of uh, powered rails but you know, it's always gonna land on these two spots. So it's not that good, but I guess casinos are rigged and so is this game right here. Behind here, I've got a blacksmith villager. I uh, chose them because they've got that black coat and I've been to a casino myself in Vegas and they use um, these suits and I thought this looked pretty cool. And you can see these uh, outlines right here. That is actually the barrier block so I could keep the, uh, the villagers in their one spot where they would not move. All right, let's cover this back up and we will have another look at what we've got. All right. Uh, this right here the dice game doesn't really have any purpose you could hit on the buttons but nothing would happen only the trap doors would open that is not intended so this is only for decoration then right here we've got a bartender also pretty cool you see we've got the red carpet that kids only are allowed to walk on if you uh, are a kid or under 21 and walk onto this you will be told to leave this area and then go back onto the carpet that's at least how I um, was greeted at the casino there I had to stay on this walkway nice story right and so uh, I had to go to the bar and get a drink or something and then they also had an escalator that went down into a kids uh, or a children's play area where you could spend your money there all right enough of that so the bar also doesn't really have a use we've got these fancy security cameras right here hopefully they didn't see me uh, stealing the money from there and you can get them with uh, custom player heads moonmill has done a nice video on that I'm gonna link that in the video description so you want to check that out definitely if you want to know how to get these security cameras and now right here is the slot machine that is pretty pretty cool Cool. It also doesn't re uh, doesn't really have a use, man. I'm talking too fast here, but I'm sure you could hook up some redstone or some fancy piston mechanics to this lever here, and basically the people sit right here in front of their little computer screen then hit the buttons and maybe win or mostly lose their money and how this is done it may look like this uses some sort of command block contraption but actually it only uses the materials that are in this chest right here so what you need is soul sand you can also use snow layers for that an armor stand a diamond helmet doesn't have to be diamond if you want this to be another color for example it could also be a golden helmet and uh, um, yeah, you can vary that if you don't want to uh, waste diamonds. A piston, a lever or lever, <laughs> and polished andesite, a stone brick stair, 
item frames and emeralds obviously so let's get all of this just break the chest and we will build one of those let's say we build it right here yeah let's build it right here in front of the cashier nobody cares about him so first thing you want to do is uh, place down your soul sand or your snow layers and what they will do is if you place your armor stand you see how it kind of sinks in the um, bottom of the armor stand is not there anymore and that's what we're using for this now be careful you want to um face the armor stand the opposite way that you want your slot machine to face because then you will have the back of the entire helmet and if you only did it this way you would have to see these eye holes here and you want this back right here. Alright, then what you want to do is place polished and aside right here, go up a few blocks, then place another piston or a piston right there, power it with a lever, then retract it and you see how the block is kind of in its head. Now we need to push it down one more and we're using a stone brick stair for that and you see how it's kind of looking like that and that's basically all the magic that is happening there. Only need to add a lever right there now and some item frame and some emerald. That's pretty much it. And then obviously a nice chair. Now to this build here, that's pretty much it. I've um, just for some details added a banner with uh, orange dye. So it's a black orange banner. And then you use some bricks and some cocoa beans to get this nice brown taint onto it. And I kind of like this with the... Uh, um, What's this? Spruce wood and then red sandstone and in combination with the dark oak that we've got going on here. I think that's a nice touch for a casino. And also the windows. Normally casinos don't have windows because they don't want the people inside to notice that time is changing rapidly and they always have lamps and everything there. So it seems to the people that sit here at these slot machines to uh, be day all the time and not have spent any time there. But actually they are spending more money than they want because, you know, they don't know time is flying by. And that's also why they do not have any watches or clocks inside of the casino. Obviously you can bring your own watch but uh, nobody else will tell you the time unless you really kindly ask them and I don't know if they would then yeah you know <laughs> so uh, I used some what's this gray stained glass panes and then some water behind there so kind of a little bit of light is coming through but not enough to see if it's day or night and then also some trees right here it looks pretty messy from the outside but I guess you could make it quite nice from there all right i think that's all about it check out the links in the video description um and then i will see you next time thanks for leaving a like thanks for subscribing and bye bye